Okay, welcome back. Wanted to do a video on not this guy in the background who's looking sexy as hell, pristine outfit. Give me a little twirl, show him you the back there. All right, this is a little bit messed up because of the stand. Oh, and he's yeah, he's posing now. Look. But not on this guy, as I say. Unfortunately, we have this one here who has been there in an attack with an alien and uh, has had acid splashed on him in every single direction. Unfortunately, this is what happens with these suits over time. Very sad to see. I've seen some of them in a lot worse condition, to be honest, than this. Eventually, they start going like black, depending on the, you know how long they've been in a damp environment. I'm not sure what leads to the the breakdown in the in the uh, latex rubber. As you can see, it's kind of gone like, it was okay there, but to the touch in certain places, it's like chewing gum. I have shown this before, and I did mean to try and uh, salvage this, but I think it's gone past the point of no return. It's sticking to the body. It's, um, it's only gonna get worse. I say I've, I've tried pulling these socks up and sticking it to itself. But as you can see here, it's starting to harden and it's only gonna solidify and go worse. So I wanna save the tabard because the tabard's in fairly good condition. I don't want it sticking to that. As you can see, it goes hard and solidifies and it's sticking to the plastic quite you know it's I can get it off but if I leave it for much longer it's gonna just ruin the body or well, not ruin it but it's gonna you can see there I tried holding it up and it's just gravity is pulling it down and, and the, yeah, the, the fact is, underneath here is a perfect body. In some, in some ways, these um, suits are a good find if you can find them, because usually the the heads are in good condition, and underneath the suit, you know, they, they're very rarely loose joints. You know, you can it's got nice stiff joints. So there's a there's a good figure under there. You know, it holds the pose as well. It's just a shame that these uh, repro suits ain't being made at the moment. Um, I've shown some of mine before. I've got that one up there. I've got that one there. I've got another couple. Well, I've got another one besides this one. I've got another yellow one that I've shown recently. And uh, they were made from the original mold. Um, and reproduced in this kind of thicker rubber. It's more like a, a rubber gardening glove than the latex that was used on these is more silky smooth. <laughs> it was originally made by a, a condom manufacturer. So that's why it's got a sort of different, um, softer finish <laughs> for her pleasure. <laughs> but yeah, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, like, we're talking, getting on for 50 years now, 
so it's it's lasted pretty well. So these were made in about early 80s, I think. So for the age of it, it's not too bad. And part of me wants to preserve it, but I just don't see how I can, how I can. So I was just thinking, I've been pondering for a while what I'm going to do with it, and I'm still not sure. But um, possibly keep it as a Space Ranger. I have got a few other outfits I could dress it up with so yeah just wanted to document it and show it how things how are progressing since the last time I so it's kind of like melted and dripping now it's just it's like chewing gum but it will solidify it and be harder to remove I'm not even sure what to remove it with I've got alcohol isopropyl alcohol I've got um um acetone a nail varnish remover i've got um you know the the get the, the lighters the lighter fluid that might be the best thing i'm not sure i don't want to i don't want to damage the figure i don't want it to have some mad reaction and <laughs> come have some sort of combustion going on I'm sure it'd be fine but uh, yeah so I just wanted to document it the gloves are good I haven't taken the the gloves off in a while it's oh god it's sticking to the gloves so yeah the hands are in perfect condition as well that's another reason for if you do see any of these on eBay Facebook, I think I paid about 40 something pounds for this one and it was in better condition at the time but you see the hands because they've been in the gloves they are perfect, like brand new basically, the body is brand new so I want to put I want to put the body to good use and so it would be nice if these suits were still being produced. It might happen again in the future. I might just strip this down and bag it in the hope that another of these um, suits come along. I would like a black one. Um, I've got dark blue, I've got yellow. Yeah, a black one would be cool. Black and yellow tabard and stuff yeah a sad day but I was going to film me taking it off the body but um, other people have done that die cast I can't remember his name sorry but yeah he's done it I'll put a link down below if you want to see the suit coming off the body but I don't have the heart to film it. It's I've been putting it off for a while. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and uh, let's petition Mick Coxie <laughs> to make some more. Or anyway, leave links down below. Cheers.